Imagine light racing so quickly that it could circle Earth more than seven times in just a single second. That isn't just fast, it's the fastest anything in the universe can ever move. Scientists measured this cosmic speed limit at exactly 299,792,458 meters per second, or about 186 satanism, 282 miles per second. And it's so fundamental that our very definition of a meter is based on it. Nothing in nature, no rocket, no particle with mass, no signal carrying information can ever outrun it. Long ago, astronomers like Ola Romer first noticed light had a finite speed by studying Jupiter's moons. Later, experiments by Fizeau, Foucault, and Michelson confirmed it with increasing accuracy. Finally, in the 20th century, Einstein took it a step further and revealed that this number is more than a measurement of light. It is the heartbeat of the universe itself. Einstein's theory of relativity showed that the speed of light is constant for everyone, no matter how fast you are moving. If you sprinted, flew in a jet, or rode a spaceship near the speed of light, you would still measure light as traveling at that same exact speed. To make that possible, time and space must bend. Clocks in motion run slower compared to those at rest. Distances shrink along the direction of motion, and events that seem simultaneous to you might not be simultaneous to someone else. These aren't just theories. They've been tested with satellites, fast-moving particles, and atomic clocks. Every result agrees the universe protects this limit. Light speed isn't just a curiosity. It sets the very structure of reality. It forms what physicists call the light cone, a boundary between what can and cannot affect you. If something happens beyond that cone, no signal can reach you in time to matter. It also means no effect can ever happen before its cause, which is why light speed is tied directly to the principle of causality. Even gravity's influence travels at this same rate, as shown by the detection of gravitational waves that matched up with bursts of light from distant cosmic events. When light passes through air, glass, or water, it appears to slow down. But that's because photons interact with the atoms in those materials, briefly absorbed and re-emitted or shifted by electromagnetic forces. In true empty space, the vacuum, it always races at its maximum speed. This is why water bends a straw in a glass and why fiber optics can carry signals slightly slower than in space. Even in the strangest cases, where phase or group velocities can seem to exceed light, the actual transfer of information never does. The cosmic rule holds firm.